Earlier this week, we noticed a post on Studio 5 contributor Julie Hanks' Facebook wall that really caught our attention. Call it every mom's nightmare, maybe. I don't know. She posted, my five-year-old just cut her half ponytail off on the top of her head. This should be interesting. It was followed by this picture with the caption, this used to be attached to my five-year-old's <laughs> head. So we had to dial up our parenting expert and therapist to see how the parenting pro handled this nightmare of a situation. Julie, what's the story? How did this haircutting thing go down here? Oh, I woke up Monday morning and saw this trail of hair behind the couch and thought, uh-oh. First I thought it was doll hair and then I realized it was my daughter's hair. And I actually took a deep breath, which I was glad I did because it was I was able to calm down and not overreact, which I kind of wanted to. <laughs> how much hair did she cut off? because she has beautiful locks. You brought her into the studio a couple times. She has beautiful locks. She basically, you know, cut her pony off from the top of her head right here, so, <laughs> and then cut into the sides. I mean, there was a, lots of hair on the floor. Oh. So I, I tried really hard just to make observing statements like, wow, you cut your hair. Look at that, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> Guess you're choosing to have short hair now. <laughs> so Julie, tell me honestly, was there ever a scream? Was there ever anything like screaming coming out of your mouth when you first saw it? You know what, there wasn't. I, I'm actually a pretty calm mom. That's I think one of my strengths as a mom is that I don't overreact off, you know, kind of offhanded. So I was able to just kind of remain calm. And it really, the hair and girls hits like in a weird place for a mom. Yes. I felt like, oh my goodness, I have to fix this really quickly. I have to take her to get her hair done. <laughs> so um, I was able to keep that internal and and really, you know, not freak her out or make her right. feel bad because she wasn't she wasn't doing it to hurt me. She was right. just curious about scissors, right? Right. So we did take her though yesterday as soon as I could get her in to get her hair um, fixed because the mommy part in me was like, it's, you know, Christmas <laughs> pictures. We got to get this taken care of. What kind of a mother would walk around with a child with chocolate? Okay. So, so we can <laughs> take parenting cues from your reaction. That's really impressive. Were there tears later? Be honest. My tears? Yeah. Or hers. No, she had tears. I didn't shed any tears. It's just hair. And she's okay. my fourth. I've, you know, we've gone through way more traumatic things in parenting than this. So okay. I have a perspective that I think is really helpful at this point. <laughs> it helps, Julie. We'll try to remember that during the holiday season. Thanks for sharing with us. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. Because uh, I'm sure there'll be other parents who will wake up with some kind of surprises over the holidays. There's always a surprise with kids involved. Hey, we want to wish you a very warm and merry Christmas from all of us here at Studio 5. Have a good holidays, everyone. We'll be off for a couple days, but we'll be joining you back with reruns here on the show. See ya.